Okay, so we're back on the Kingdom's Realm, and I'm going to explain what I'm doing here in just a minute. But first, I wanted to apologize for the horrible audio quality of a lot of the previous videos. I had no idea that my mic was going out. In fact, my headset, I've come to learn, is completely breaking. Like, one of the earpieces, you can't hear anything out of the speaker. And I didn't realize it, because I usually only wear one side you know, for comfort, you know, comfortability, and also so I can hear, that was a made-up word, anyways, and also so I can hear things in the room, um, so I didn't notice that that earpiece had gone out, and so, huh, it is, okay, so that's a real word, <laughs> and so I had no clue, and, um, I was told that it was buzzing during the Outlast gameplay, and I don't know why, it's echoing during the Outlast play, which is strange, because the game's audio has like that weird theater echo quality that you would get in some things, um, especially bootleg videos. And then um, it's so it's like the microphone was doing something weird internally on that one. And then the Outlast play it was just this constant buzz, and it wouldn't be there through all of the recordings, but only through some of them. And I don't understand why it was just picking and choosing it. it was, it maybe it was caused by the audio of the game itself going through the headset. I'm not really sure how that works, but either way, so my husband was so kind to let me use his, which is what the one I'm using now. His headset and mic seemed to work fine. I did an audio check. It doesn't seem to be doing anything weird. Also, I noticed that it was picking up strange background noises that didn't make any sense. Like, there was the AC and then some other things. I don't know what the hell those were. But anyways, um, so we will not be using that headset to make videos anymore. I'll just use that one for general gameplay because, you know, I can still hear out of that one side and that's fine. I don't need to use the mic to just play games. But if I'm going to make a video for you all, I should probably be using this one. And so I will be, because that's horrible, and you all are troopers for putting up with that. I know a few people, you know, jump ship, and that's completely fine. Like, <laughs> no fault on you. <laughs> I get it. Um, and so, again, very, very, very sorry. That sucks. I know no one wants to hear that, especially the audio-sensitive humans on the planet. There are some of us that just can't stand repetitive tone. You know, even if it's like a pulse, it doesn't matter. Some people just can't take it. And so I'm sure that those were the people who first jumped ship from the audio. And I can't blame them one little bit. I might have been one too. <laughs> but that's the beauty of the internet and viewing people is you can just leave if you don't like it. Yeah. But one of them was very kind to tell me that the audio quality sucked and that it was buzzing and you would be like well don't you check your videos I check my videos for visual because I want to make sure that it recorded correctly and while I'm doing that I'm in the room interacting with everything in the room so I'm really just listening to it on silent which I know is silly but it saves time to get other stuff done instead of just listening to it but now I need to listen to it because apparently these things go kaput rather quickly that's f what is that Oh, okay. Yeah, and so, again, that sucks. Um, but yeah, so we're going to investigate what I've been doing here. This is the deep dark where the warden lives. And I got kind of burnt out building towers and stuff, the piratey things up there. And so I decided to come down here and diamond mine while I cleaned up. Because I have OCD issues in certain areas, and all the destruction is totally triggering to me, so I want to make it look good again. <laughs> it's just that it, I want to pretty it. At least once before it destroys itself again, because it's weird. Um, you can put bricks down and everything, right? Oh, I gotta... Ooh, hold on. I'm getting shot at. Can I sleep real quick? Okay, 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 okay. Quick before a skeleton shoots me in my sleeping face. Okay. I'm going to still have to go kill a skeleton, but anyways. Um, so, funny thing. So, if you cover it all, like you dig it up and you replace it with real brick, if something dies in the spot or connected to the spot, like, it doesn't even have to be touching this wall, right? They can die right here, and this will still happen. Like, this was all clean brick. <laughs> 
And it's like this weird creep effect that when something dies, it leaves a smudge. And it's hilarious. So you can see where all the carnage is <laughs> here and there. <laughs> like, slimes keep dropping from up in that black area up there. So I'm wondering if there's like some sort of weird shelf that they're forming on. Because they land here, and they're always leaving smudges. Yeah, and the bigger the object, the larger the smudge. Like, I think that was a large slime that bit it over there, and it just... It was this giant tendril. Uh, oh, there you are. Yeah, I'm gonna save my diamond. I'm just gonna use my pick on you. You're not even worth making a sword over. <laughs> okay, just do like this. Da -da 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 -da. Do -do -do. Yes, and the warden is still active down here. There are blocks that still trigger it. Which I'm gonna leave some of them because I want like a warden battle zone down here. So like I'm gonna put villagers and like plants and things down here and make it really nice. So I've been doing this to the inner hallways. Um, this is sort of like a decoration I made. Because it touched the wall and I don't want to go through the walls so we just left it there. Um, I connected this one to this one and took out the middle partition because it looks silly with it there and it's too cramped. I mean it's good if you're running from the warden but when I make the battle area it'll Basically, it'll keep the warden contained in the big, you know, zone. So this is essentially going to be the battle area right here. Um, there's an active warden block right there with its sensors inside that building. I've already rebuilt this one. Um, so if I touch any of the black right here or this sparkly blue, black, weird brick, I don't know what it's called, but that one, um, it triggers them. So it's like kind of a radius around it that you can sort of see. So if I walk here, there's nothing. But if I were to just even hit one of those, it would go nuts and the guy would wake up. Um, so I rebuilt this. I wasn't sure what it looked like, so I kind of guesstimated. I remember the there's the smaller little rooms and they don't have the stairways, right? And then there's the bigger ones that have like this weird turret area of their own. And <laughs> this one looked like it was a bigger one, so I assumed it was the one with the turrets. And so I kind of rebuilt what I remember of the last one that I saw, but I think I got the stairs facing the wrong way. But it doesn't matter, I still like it. And this is the model I'm going to use to fix some of the other ones that are the big ones. And then the small ones, I'm living in this one currently so that I can spawn quickly if killed. And so I rebuilt this guy. It's close to accurate, but there's some things that are still not quite right. Like, I wasn't really sure about the pop out here. Like, does it have a double angle like this, or did it go straight? I couldn't tell. So I just made it up, and that's what we ended, uh, ended up with. <laughs> um, I'm also going to put a lot of trees down here. You know, really pretty it up. Sprinkle in some of my captive villagers and throw potatoes at their face till they breed a lot of babies and then have a whole working village. Okay, this is the center um, for the entrance. So you would come here and this is basically the beginning to the whole system. And here's the bridge. Like, I've never actually seen the bridges before. This one, fortunately, I mean, fortunately for all of us, spawned with its bridge pretty much intact. Oops, okay, maybe if we could see it. <laughs> and so it was just a matter of uncovering it and replacing the bricks that are that weird sparkly brick with actual ones that were supposed to be there. I've left a lot of the crack stone because it just gives it nice texture. Um, I didn't know what was going on down here. It looked like there had been a fire and some pillaging. Uh, most of this was flat ground level. Um, so I put stairs and made it just a big passageway. I don't know what was originally there. And here's another lava decoration. Mm, there's another one of those. It's the same as this one here. Um, what else? And so this is just another long one. Let's go up top. Okay, so I still have, I fixed the top of this one. I still have to fix over there. See how it still has the tainted brick on it? Yeah. <laughs> and then this side, I've got all the way up to that corner done. And that's going to be a, a spawner for loot and other things. The monsters fall from the top and crush themselves down there. And then 
the, what are they, hoopers or hoppers, whatever they're called, and uh, collect it for me. Okay, so just carving these walls back because a lot of them intersect with the tower and I kind of want more space so that if the warden does get out, you can run. <laughs> and this is going to be a lava waterfall at the end. Just kind of carving around it. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. This side hasn't been finished. It still has its center underneath it. Just gonna keep going all the way over here. Um, but the Outlast gameplay, I'm not gonna redo it because there's like one video left, I think, to upload. Which it's taking me forever to get these ones uploaded, so. I'm not even going to bother, I'm just, I don't even know, maybe I won't upload them, I'll have to check them, and if they sound really bad, then I just won't upload them, and I'll have to redo them later, um, which is going to suck, but, you know, that's life. <laughs> Sometimes things just suck. Uh, I like this thing. It ends up looking like a weird warden head when you clean it off, like, ooh, there's an active one up there. Ooh, hello, you sneaky little thing. I gotta go get my silk touch. See if I can claim that thing. And I think there's another working warden. There's one right there. But I don't think that one has an active sensor on it. Mm. So there's a lot of stuff to still go. Um, I'll keep you updated on this one, because this is my new uh, Minecraft passion at the moment. I want to see this actually fixed to where you can stand here and just look upon it. <laughs> <laughs> Survey the landscape. <laughs> Have farms in there. Like a whole kingdom. That'd be kind of cool. Like, I mean, the realm's name is Kingdoms, so. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be good. Alright, so again, sorry for the audio quality of the previous videos. I will be using this mic for all videos after this, and so hopefully it works out. Um, but please forgive for the horrible, vibrating, Buzzing, humming, I don't know, clicking, like all kinds of weird stuff. I don't, I don't know. It was having fun, and now it's retired to just be listened through. All right, so you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for putting up with that, and <laughs> enjoy playing your games too. Bye-bye. <laughs>